Cody viewers, Brad Prider of Barstool Entertainment returning to the world of Red Dead Redemption 2 for the fourth time. I've approached this game with a different mindset, and it does feel like a different game, even though I've played it three times previously. It is still very rich and wonderful. Now, I've probably done these locations in previous videos. I decided to put them together in one video. They're pamphlets. There's 15 pamphlets accessible throughout Red Dead Redemption 2. 14 of them are accessible by Arthur. I'm going to show you these locations. They give special tonics and weapons for crafting. They're not available until maybe after Chapter 3 or even into Chapter 4 at the fences. And they cost a lot of money. If you don't want to spend money on these pamphlets, I'm showing you their locations. It's some travel, and if you get fast travel, makes it easier. These pamphlets are definitely worth finding. And you have to read them in order to gain the advantage of crafting the items within the pamphlets. So let's get on with these pamphlets and their locations. The first pamphlet is for the Volatile Fire Bottle. And it's just right outside of the camp at Horseshoe Overlook. If you take a look on the map, and it's right here where the player I have currently by the N in New Hanover. And it's in this lockbox. You open it up, it's in um, a brush fire area that was burned out. And you can pick it up. There's some other stuff with it. But the pamphlet is for the volatile fire bottle. And again, it's just right outside of the camp at Horseshoe Overlook. If you read the pamphlet, um, yeah, not cover scent, the volatile fire bottle. And you open it up and read it. Again, you have to read pamphlets in order to gain the benefit to craft. And moonshine and animal fat. Awesome. You can do that. And then the next pamphlet that you want to read is, again, just outside of Horseshoe Overlook. If you go to the burnt out village of Limpany, and it is just near the Dakota River, but in the sheriff's office, there is a lockbox. And I can show you on the map here, right here, it's just southwest of Horseshoe Overlook. And you can find the special horse stimulant in this lockbox. Now, the next pamphlet I've done before, it's on the Wapati Indian Reservation, and it's the Dynamite Arrow. They tend to be a little clustered by each other. Right here, the Wapati PT Indian Reservation, it's this broken bridge by this broken cabin, and you can find the Dynamite Arrow pamphlet with some other stuff.
the next pamphlet is nearby this location and people tend to miss it. So let's get on with finding the poison arrow pamphlet. This location I've shown before and it is the hidden hill home or the mysterious hill home and Arthur inspects the area. He finds the wonder who lived here hill home but there is a lock box right near the home that contains the poison arrow pamphlet which is another pamphlet that is very useful to Arthur. The next pamphlet is by Moonstone Pond if you ride further east and there's this flattened cabin. It contains the lockbox for the homing tomahawk right here, Moonstone Pond, flattened cabin. If you enter the cabin, you can find not only the pamphlet but some other valuable things if I can get Arthur to walk up this damn tree. Oh, and a black bear hangs around this area and spooks your horse. If you need a black bear pelt, this is a great place to find a black bear. Sometimes you can find a perfect little brown bat carcass as well. It's not 100% reliable, but if you're doing the hunting, um, come here and take a look. Now let's get on to the next pamphlet. This is another special location that until I played my third playthrough did not know existed. It is the face sculpture, and it's just north of Moonstone Pond and the Smashed Cabin. Uh, you shoot this guy down, and there's a letter about his girlfriend that he was going to sculpt her face and her likeness into a mountain, but that's just part of it. There is a... Um, chest containing the special health care pamphlet and it's right up here by the face sculpture
again, the location is just north of Moonstone Pond. And very, very easy to get to. You can get this pamphlet and then move on to the next pamphlet. If you head back west, there's this broken up, bloody tent encampment that was hit by a landslide. And it's just sort of south east of Vetter's Echo, um, right here by the WE of whatever it is, West Elizabeth. And it is the special Miracle Tonic pamphlet. It's kind of hard to find because you're kicking around items. And yeah, it is kind of a little difficult. You got to be a little patient. You can pick some other items up from around this encampment. It's not obvious where it is. After clunking about, finally, this is where the lockbox is. You open it up. And there is the special miracle tonic. If you're trying to complete the herbalist challenge, this is necessary. For this next pamphlet, you have to go to St. Denis, and there is this long shack that's sort of northeast outside of St. Denis, and I'll show you on the map its location. It is right here, just outside of St. Denis, to the northeast, and in the floorboards is a pamphlet for the poison throwing knife. Hi, mister. You have the poison arrow and you have the poison throwing knife. You're going to need some oleander sage to make them. And after I cap off this bird, whatever it is, um, a spoonbill, I think, red spoonbill. Uh, yeah, I'm going to show you an excellent location for oleander sage. And it is just outside of St. Denis. It's north. You can stay on the same road and ride up toward Copperhead Landing where there's another pamphlet. But this area is great for finding oleander sage.
if you come to this area, I'll show you on the map, right here, blue water, um, right here in this area, just north of the bridge. And I can tell you, you can find at least four to six oleander sage plants. Um, it has to, you know, if you find them and harvest them, come back within three or four in-game days, you'll find the oleander sage. Now we're on the copper landing here, or copperhead landing, and in the floorboards of this cabin, this wrecked cabin, is the incendiary buckshot pamphlet. Again, this location, Copperhead Landing, where you can find the incendiary buckshot pamphlet. Just northeast of Emerald Station, there's Hannity or Hanny's Bethel. Uh, basically the UFO place, and you find this pamphlet containing volatile dynamite. And you got to kind of, yeah, sneak in and open the chest. This next pamphlet is under some steps in Fort Brenard, Brenard, and it is the special horse medicine. And Fort Brenard is actually a great place to find some other things like the um, Civil War knife and Civil War hat, but... I'm just going to show you the location of the special horse medicine pamphlet. Okay, this is the southeast corner of the fort. Now, if you go into the cabin, there are some other things, but I'm moving on to the next pamphlet. If you go south of Owen Gila, you'll find some scattered crates. 
and you'll find the special bitters pamphlet. Like I said, just south of Oangela Dam, and there's the special bitters pamphlet. Next two pamphlets are not too far from each other. You don't want to jump into this wagon. Arthur dies. So let's get on with the other two pamphlets. The next one is the Special Horse Reviver. And it's in a tree stump here, southwest of Hillhaven Ranch. I'll show you on the map in a moment. This pamphlet is again located, it's in the Sea of Mattock Pond, and it's southwest of Hillhaven Ranch. It's in a stump. You gotta look for it, but it's easy enough to find when you know the exact location. The final pamphlet that Arthur can find is the special snake oil pamphlet. It's under the floorboards in a shack. And I'll show you the location once I get Arthur into the shack. The location for it is right here near the M. It's um, Iris Fields area, Ringneck Creek. Um, it's near the M in Lemoyne, and you can find it. And that is all 14 pamphlets accessible by Arthur. If you found this video informative and you like it, hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to leave some comments. If you like this type of video, Hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I post seven video game related videos a week, Sunday through Saturday, and you want to stay informed. As always, I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by.